Uh, the subject of my chalk talk is the Tifanov Damianov rearrangement, first, first elucidated by the Russian chemist Vladimir Damianov in 1901, later expanded upon by the Tifanov and his team in 1937. Demianov's initial rearrangement involved expanding a five or six membered one amino methyl cycloalkanol into a slightly larger uh, ketone. I'll show that mechanism right now. It involves introducing nitrous acid and water into, the, into a solution with the species. Before that reaction proceeds, though, nitrous acid has to rearrange to form a nitrosonium ion, which will occur. It will occur within some equilibrium in the s in solution. So first off, since this, is, since this is an acid with pH less than seven, there are hydronium ions around, and they and the lone pair on the on the oxygen, the alcohol of the nitrous acid, will remove a proton from a hyd from a hydronium ion. which will allow it to be removed as water from the, from the future nitrosonium ion, forming N triple bond O positive. This, this ion can react with our one amino methyl cycloalkanol. The lone pair on the amine group will attack the nitrogen in the nitrosonium ion and begin to form a diazonium group and eliminate the oxygen, oxygen ion here as water after some rearrangement. This could spontaneously rearrange. to form something closer to the to the diazonium ion needed. Keeping hydrogen group intact. And the oxygen there that receives that receives the negative charge from the nitrogen group can remove a proton from the nitrogen or can remove a proton from any of the nearby hydronium ions. And these protons can be removed by Basic by basic Emerson solution. From there, the alcohol group can remove another proton from water or from hydronium. To form a better leaving group. which will allow it to be removed by the nitrogen, forming an amino diazonium ion group that's, I, I mean my diazonium group that's ready to be removed by the, by this bond, which will bind it to this carbon and remove this group, which will form a slightly larger six-membered ring which can rearrange to form a six-membered ketone. Those are the basic elements of the mechanism for Demyanov's five or six-membered ring expansion, although Tiffanow will later improve it by showing it can be done with much larger rings, nine, twelve membered, using using, using um, catalysts. But for the basic core of the reaction, this is the reaction in its entirety. So from the nitrosonium ion formed by nitrous acid, following this following this attack here by the amine, from there forming the from there forming the diazonium group, which is kicked out 
is a favorable leading group allowing for the ring expansion to a six-membered ring. And from there, it's a very simple step to going to a six-membered ketone.